Hello, my lovely Leo, and welcome to your moon reading. This is a seven card circle moon reading using the moon deck here. Uh, if you enjoy this reading, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. Hit the notification bell. It helps it get to the other Leos. It also helps my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. However, if you don't find this resonates with you, please do check out one of your other signs. This is just a general reading, so do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, your monthly uh, general reading is up and your love bonus is up. If you have interest in checking those out, please do so. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is a seven card moon circle reading. Um, so let's head right at it. Your first card is kind of where you are now, what you might be facing, what position you might be in or having issues with. The second card is indicative of what kind of got you there, okay? The third card is similar to like a challenge card in regular tarot, um, but is kind of what's keeping you in this cycle um, from getting to your ultimate resolution. The fourth card is your ultimate resolution, okay? And the fifth, sixth, and seventh cards are indicative of what you need to do to get to your best resolution. So let's see what we're working with, my lovely Leos. All right, so wisdom, okay? Wisdom's power, right? So I feel like with this being your positional card, I feel like you're looking for some wisdom. I feel like you need some answers for something, okay? Now, whether this is business, whether this is home, whether this is relationship, um, because realistically, this with this card, it could mean any of them. She's standing on books, but she's also kind of reaching for higher divination, higher answers. So um, take it how it resonates with you personally. But again, with this specific card, I do feel like you are seeking um, you know, an answer. So there's something in your life that you, you know, need some sort of guidance on, some sort of information about, something that you need help with, an answer. Um, maybe a decision you're kind of trying to make, okay? What got you into this was the unexpected, okay? So for me, this is letting me know that something's popped up that you didn't plan on, okay? Something that you didn't know was coming, and it could be anything from, you know, your taxes came back, uh, you owe a bunch of money and you're like, wait, why? What happened here? Um, you know, or this could be you just found out some information about a relationship or um, that you really did not expect. And you're like, well, how do I handle this? What do I do about this? You know, I was deceived or, you know, or there's something there that, you know, maybe not even in a negative way, but it's like something you just found out and you're like, wow, that's something interesting. How do I handle it? Um, you know, it could be. Uh, any number of things, take it how it resonates, but you've clearly been hit with something that you did not expect to happen, something that kind of blindsided you. And that's kind of what's caused you to be at a crossroads it, situationally. You're kind of perplexed. You're kind of like, okay, I need to figure something out. Um, so whether it's a logistical, you know, I got let go from work, we got laid off, what do we do? Okay, I need to find information, I need to find answers. What should I do? What kind of jobs are out there? What kind of benefits are out there? What options do I have? Okay, something logistical in that regard. Or it's a relationship. Hey, I just found out, you know, this happened in my relationship. Do I stay? Do I go? Or, you know, hey, I just found out somebody really likes me that I've been interested in because you were single. And, you know, but I don't know if they're the best person for me. Do I stay? Do I go? You may already even be in a relationship, but this person's somebody that you've always been interested in and now you found out they're interested in you. You know, again, something unexpected has popped up. You did not expect to know, find out, hear, whatever. And it's really kind of led you to where you need more information. You need to make decisions. You need more um, guidance. So what is kind of keeping you in this? And this is beauty. And in this card, specifically in this deck, it's not just dealing with your external beauty, um, but a lot of your internal beauty. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, particularly this is dealing kind of with your moral compass okay so for many of you what this is that's holding you back from making decisions is maybe there's a moral dilemma there okay for many of you i feel like for many of you this information may cause a moral dilemma like you may have found out something unexpected about your significant other or again maybe you're in a relationship and you found out somebody else wants to be with you but you know, do you just up and leave this person, or how do you up and leave this person, even if you know it's not going anywhere? Should you just you know let them go? Um, you know, should you leave this job for another job? You know, you got a job offer unexpectedly, but do you leave the job that's been loyal to you for so many years that you've been able to count on with coworkers that you love? 
um, you know, to go to this other job, you know, because you feel like there's a moral dilemma almost. So I feel like for many of you, because you have a beauty inside and you care, you don't want to hurt feelings, you have a moral code, you have a moral compass. And so that is kind of what is holding you into this decision pattern. Because if it was a matter of something where you were just like, I'm going with my gut instinct and I don't care who gets hurt or what gets hurt or whatever, then you wouldn't need this guidance. You would need this information. You wouldn't be even be in a contemplative state. You would just take that information when it came in, boom, that's what I want. Okay, you know, you would be like instant gratification and I'm out, right? But that's not the case for you. You are someone who does have, um, you know, you have a very caring soul, very caring heart, you know, and you want to think about things. And so um, your ultimate outcome is resistance, okay? And this could be resistance to change. This could be resistance to uh, an opportunity that is very much, um, you know, a positive opportunity for you, but you feel like it's not the right opportunity. Um, but for many of you, because the challenge is a moral challenge, I feel like, I feel like you're going to resist the, uh, the options that are most gratifying to you immediately, okay? And you're going to kind of stick with what is morally, you feel like is morally best, okay? So even though, you know, logistically or on paper or, you know, all these other reasons may lean towards, you know, or your gut even may lean towards this, you know, this other decision, this unexpected information leading you to this other decision, I feel like you might resist it um, because you know that it's not right. It's gonna hurt somebody. It's not the best thing to do. And in the long run, you know that karma is real and you don't want to be a victim of that. So I do feel like resistance is going to happen for many of you. And I feel like that is something that you are kind of leaning towards anyway. But I do think that, you know, you're tempted by this unexpected. Many of you, this unexpected information's come in and you might be very tempted by it. Um, you know, it might be more money. It might be, you know, a new person that's very much of interest to you. Uh, aesthetically, it could be that you find them beautiful aesthetically, but, you know, you know yourself that to leave the person that's been there for you for a while may not be the best thing because that may be all that person is, is aesthetics, you know, and that's not gonna last. You know, that job may just be more money now, but you know, what happens when you actually need that job to do, let you off for an extra day for your kids or do these extra things for you that the job you have now does because they treat you almost like a family. You know, those kinds of things. I think those factors will come in and you will resist the things that on paper may be like, what are you crazy? You know, on paper, this is absolutely the way you should go because this person is fantastic. This person has got education. They're gorgeous. They're this, they're that. Why wouldn't you leave what you've got for that? But you know better. You resist that temptation. Um, you know, it may be that again, you know, you get a great offer, an unexpected offer, and on paper, it looks great. It's much better money, it's better benefits, but you know that you wouldn't be happy there and you would let your coworkers down and you know that you would be, you know, leaving a place where you're treated like a family, those kinds of things. So I feel like for many of you, that's the situation. You will resist what is on paper or logistically the best option for something that is going to be you know, more fulfilling to you as a person, um, your kindness, your moral code, your decency. So let's see what we have here to get there. So we have self-reflection. And I think this is very, very important because you know that you're a person who wants to be able to look yourself in the mirror, okay? You know this. You know that you don't want to do something, um, you know, jump at anything, make a decision where you are going to later on have regrets Look yourself, not be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I did the right thing, you know, even if it pays off financially, even if you are with somebody that everybody's envious of, even if whatever it may be, you know, to the outward world looks better, seems better, you know, when you look in the mirror, you want to be able to live with your decision, okay? So this is very important card for that because again, I think this goes right back to you here where we're dealing with, um, you know, a moral, situation, a moral choice. Um, 
this nourishment, okay? Again, this is about nourishing you, nourishing your soul, okay? And again, this may be something where, you know, you really are weighing these things. But again, what's going to nourish you and your soul and your family and those kinds of things? And that's how you're going to make your decision, okay? So again, money is great. You know, so if it's a job offer for, for more money, whatever, money's great, right? But you know what? You know, ultimately, money is not going to give you fulfillment if you know they work you to the core and you're unable to spend time with those that you love um, where right now you might be with a company that you know has a nice family uh, environment and they allow you time off when your kids are sick or those kinds of things you know um, and i'm using those as examples but you kind of understand where i'm coming from in that situation you need to your decisions are going to be based on what is nourishing for you and your growth as a human um, same thing with a relationship you want to be able to look yourself in the mirror and know that you made a decision that was best for your growth okay not because you did it to uh, you know put on a good look for the neighbors or keep up with the Joneses or whatever the saying is but because you nourished yourself and your family whatever was really best for you okay and then the last spot here is release. And I think this is where it's going to come to fruition. I feel like this is where you're going to be able to release this, whatever unexpected information came in that's really got you kind of tied up in knots about this decision or what you need to do, uh, what kind of choices to make. Um, you know, I do feel like you will look at things from all angles, uh, logically. Uh, you know, you will look at it logistically, logically on paper, you know, from everybody's aspect, from your own view, from your family's view, from your coworkers' view or your re relationship's view or whatever. I do feel like that, but I do feel like ultimately when you release, once you release whatever you decide to choose to release, that will allow you to receive obviously or keep what you have um, or what you choose rather depending and I think given that information I do feel like that is when you are going to have your ultimate you know happiness because you're going to be able to realize that you resisted temptation you resisted um, you know things that maybe you know aren't going to be good for you in the long run and you did what was best for yourself and you did something that you feel like you can live with okay I do believe that you guys are going to make a moral decision a moral choice. I believe that whatever decision you are making has some sort of moral, um, you know, component to it in some way. You know, whether it's like you feel, you know, I feel like if I leave this job, I'm leaving behind friends, family, you know, I don't want to necessarily do that. Um, you know, I'm leaving them hanging. They'll be, you know, down without people and I'm really good at my job, you know, or I feel if I leave the person that I'm with or if I go with this person, you know, they may not be the best person to be around my kids. You know, they don't like kids and I have kids. So, you know, maybe even if you're single and it's not leaving a person, you know, but you're like, this person would not be go good around my children and I need somebody who's going to be really good for my children. So that wouldn't be a good moral decision, even though on paper they're intelligent, they're gorgeous, they're wealthy, whatever it may be, you know. So again, I do feel like there's some sort of moral consideration um, in that you have to see the way it affects yourself, those around you that you love the most, that you care about, the people who've taken care of you, and that you wanna be able to, you know, look yourself in the mirror and know that you've done what's best to nourish yourself and your family, um, and not made a decision that was just based on what's gonna look good or keep up with the neighbors or whatever. So I do feel like you will resist, and I feel like that resistance will make you stronger, okay? I feel like you'll be rewarded by karma for that resistance because it's going to make you stronger. It's showing that you are not a person who is going to, you know, bow to whatever offer comes. You're not a person who is going to, you know, just bend over for the dollar, um, you know, and give up any moral, you know, kind of ideas that you have. You don't sell out situation type of thing. I feel like this is something that is going to show that you are a strong willed, um, very, very morally sound person. So in this regard, I feel like that is, um, you know, something that's going to be very good for you in the end. And that's how I see this working out for you, to be honest with you. 
Um, but I do feel like you all have to go through your process of kind of thinking it out and, and viewing it from all different angles first. So um, definitely do that. Make sure that you are doing what is best for you and those that you love because that is important. So anyway, if this did resonate with you, which I hope it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back this weekend for your next week energy readings. Bye.